Hello and welcome to our third in the series of work from home videos. Today's topic is conveyor drive safety issues. Today is April 6th. This video is being sponsored by Romeca Corporation. I'm Mike Lewinsky, your host, president of Romeca Corporation. We're a supplier of motorized police for the U.S. materials handling market. We're part of the International Romeca Group, which is headquartered in Bergamo, Italy. We are a supplier of rollers, motorized pulleys, pulleys and components for the global materials handling market. And we have approximately 1,200 employees in two dozen countries around the world. Our policy effective March 30th is that Romeca Corporation, the plant is designated essential during the COVID-19 response. Our plant is operating, but sales and administrative staff are working from home, just as I am today. Today, we're launching a free online consulting service. It's available. Visit our website for details. Today's video is a service to any personnel working from home with mineral processors, food producers, other production plants, or any of our independent distributors, sales reps, and affiliates. How to solve conveyor drive safety problems. One, we recommend you identify your drive problem. Two, we recommend you request technical assistance. Three, we recommend you consider a potential solution and then obtain and consider a commercial offer. Today's topic is safety, as I said. It's essential to distinguish between a new project and a conversion of an existing system. I'm assuming that most people who would be interested in this topic today are gonna to be thinking about some sort of a system conversion to improve on what is currently installed and running. What are the reasons for belt conveyor drive safety problems? It could be the age of the existing exposed drive system, or it can be the lack of maintenance of the drive system and the expended metal guarding for that system. That may be because of reduction in maintenance staff or reduction in maintenance budget. It may be because there's no convenient personnel access to get to the drive system. The reason for the problem might be because of harsh operating conditions. It's possible that you would have a breakdown in bad weather on night shift and not restore everything to its proper uh, safe condition. There's a possibility of that. Or it may just be the abundance of corrosive or abrasive materials attacking the system. Or it could be in a food processing plant in which high pressure and high temperature wash down is essential. What needs protection? What four things need protection? Well, the product handled obviously needs to be protected especially if it's food or U.S. mail. Some minerals need to be protected from uh, infiltration from uh, undesirable materials. Handling equipment itself needs to be protected, the drive motor, the transmission system. Obviously, plant personnel, both operations and maintenance people need to be protected. And finally, but not least importantly, the public and the environment needs to be protected from noise, from oil spillage and that sort of a thing. How does one go about obtaining technical assistance from us? Well, we would encourage you to uh, reach out to us at sales-us at romeca.com or call us at our corporate phone number, which is given at the end of this presentation, and simply download one of our application sheets, food processing on the left, bulk handling on the right, and just identify whatever safety problem it is that you're struggling with. Oh, we are concerned that we might get an OSHA citation because of this or that, or we're concerned that MSHA might uh, cite us for uh, this and that a problem that we're having. Now, in this talk, we're going to be contrasting exposed conveyor drive systems with internally powered drive systems. The four systems on the left are obviously exposed drive systems, and all of those are multiple transmission systems. The two on the right, of course, are the internally powered conveyor drive system with single transmissions. What needs protection? Product handling. Well, the example on the left shows an old gearbox which is leaking oil. Perhaps that might not uh, cause any product problem, but the customer on the right uh, was faced with a leaking gearbox which was uh, dropping onto the product. In this case, it happens to be cranberries. Their solution was to go to a hermetically sealed internally powered drive system, as you can see pictured there. 
What about the protection of plant handling equipment? On the left, you'll see an exposed drive system. This picture was taken at a salt barge loading system in a swampy area, a very humid area. On the right, you can see after that system was converted, everything which was exposed to the corrosive environment on the left has been enclosed within the hermetically sealed uh, drive system on the right. What about the protection of plant personnel? This is an example I alluded to briefly in a previous video. On the left, you'll see a power plant coal bunker system. It was fed, it is fed by a shuttling reversing conveyor. The drive system for that conveyor belt, the motor and the gearbox and the sprocket was on top of the chute, as you can see on the upper right hand part of the slide. Uh, there was a near fatal accident while that thing was being maintained when a corroded weld broke and a worker fell into the bunker. Fortunately for him, the bunker had just been filled. He didn't fall 50 feet, but he fell a few feet, was not badly hurt. The conversion or the reason of safety improvement was to an internally powered drive system, which can be installed within the chute system, as you see on the lower right. And more or less, it maintains itself, a big safety improvement. And then lastly, here's an example of uh, protection of the environment. On the right-hand side, you'll see a long overland conveyor, approximately two or three miles long, and a transfer point in close proximity to a recreation area. And these um, users of this facility would either be staying in RVs or barges, something like that. There was constant complaints to the stone producer about the loud whining noise of the conveyor drive. When the exposed drive system was converted to an internally powered system, the, the ambient noise level of the system dropped dramatically and complaints stopped completely. Why is this possible? An internally powered conveyor drive looks, as you can see pictured here. It has a non-rotating shaft, which is important. There are no external pillar blocks to maintain. The hermetic seals, which is IP67, in bulk, IP69 and food, uh, protect the internal components from the harsh environment, and they also protect the environment from the oil on the inside. That seal keeps oil in and nasty environment out. And there are no, and maybe the most important thing of this picture is to point out that there are no external pinch points. The drive system is hermetically sealed, internally powered, self-lubricating, and this protects products handled from oil. It protects internal components from the environment. It protects personnel from the components themselves. And it protects the public environment from things such as noise or leaking oil, that sort of thing. If you are interested in obtaining more information on this drive system, this is the way our commercial response would look. We would uh, prepare a specification with part number, price, delivery promise, and so forth but not after we spend time with you going over the application sheet that you have submitted. There'll be give and take usually via email or video conference. Yeah. In closing, I mentioned that uh, we are deemed essential and therefore production continues with a small production staff at our facility. All of our other uh, sales, marketing, and administrative people are working from home. Today, April 6th, we're launching our free online consulting service, and that's available to any potential customer or existing customer who may be struggling with some sort of a conveyor safety issue. This then is the conclusion of our third in our video series. In short order, we'll produce, we will be producing videos on problems such as space or weight problems, uh, belt slippage problems, and inadequate power problems. I draw to your attention our YouTube channel and our website. All of these two to 10 minute training videos are there for your use. And you can see pictured here our growing library of webinars and work from home videos, which are also available on the website as well as the YouTube channel. I thank you for spending time with us today. I hope that you can keep your chin up during this crisis 
And we encourage you to reach us by sending us an email at sales-us at womenka.com or calling us at 910-794-9294 and allow us to help you. Thank you. Goodbye.